All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So we're going to be doing a session with the Char MLE 75, aka Char Model 75. And before we do that, um, first off, I just want to say guys, subscribe to the channel, help me out because we are starting to get a lot more viewers. And I also want to emphasize that if you do Twitch, give me a follow on Twitch. But even if you don't, um, if you want to make a Twitch account, Twitch account, come over and follow the channel guys because you're going to be seeing me do a lot of live stuff there friday saturday and sunday um, keep in mind it's going to be central standard time so i'm going to be doing hopefully so that a lot of you can watch i'm going to be doing late friday night central standard time 11 30 to about one something in the morning and then saturday we're going to go ahead and stream a little later at night maybe like 6 p.m or so and sunday we'll do early in the morning so hopefully um you guys will be able to watch at least one of the streams even if it's the short one on friday night but at least you can see me play live um just a little more information for you guys here's my main channel this is on pc if you're looking at it on your phone it might be a little bit different keep that in mind the twitch um thing is right here for the link and you can come here to my channel just pause this to make sure this doesn't play and here it is guys of course we only have three streams but i got 35 followers if you guys can get me to 50 then we can do um we can get the affiliate uh title right and we can start doing um a little bit more in the chat and stuff like that um it allows people to subscribe etc right guys so help me get to that number then we just have to stream a little bit more it's actually very easy to get affiliate on twitch but um you know it's something that would help me out a lot guys and if you're watching this video and you aren't subscribed do hit the uh, subscribe button. Um, it's really, really going to help me out and like the video and just do all that. If you don't want to leave a comment, you don't want to turn on notifications for my videos, whatever, man. But the number really, really helps me out. And whenever you guys comment, I love, love to see your comments. I love to um, help you guys out and just have a conversation. It's a lot of fun and you can do that really, really well on Twitch in real time. So um, I do recommend Twitch. If for whatever reason you are looking at this on your phone, go to my most recent videos. Um, it actually won't be on this one, but I just changed the um, default uploads uh, for, for the text on the description of the videos. So you can come to my videos here and down here in the description, which looks a little bit newer now on YouTube, you're going to have this and you're going to see my Twitch channel and you can click here and it'll take you to the same place. That's it, guys. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. We'll close all this out and we're going to be playing the Char MLE 75. Now, this tank is very, very unique. Um, it's something that, in my opinion, um, this, this vehicle is really only good in... <sighs> The right hands right you really have to know what you're doing with this vehicle because the reload is so long and if you get caught out like in the middle of the open or something um and you're on reload and you you have nothing to defend yourself with you're gonna run into a lot of problems um what i'm actually gonna do is just turn this down to 30 and put this on six um this is the way i want to run it and i think we'll yeah we'll do this to start with the apcrs so this tank guys it's a little weird again we had a mastery video on it where i kind of showed you guys the tank but just to give you a, a brief rundown if you didn't catch that video this is a tier 9 light tank it's very strange it has like an engine mode which is basically siege mode if you've ever played the strvs right um the time to switch is right here so when you go into um the turbo mode i believe it takes one second to come out of it it takes three seconds the turbo mode is great but it's really only a mobility mode when you're in the mobility mode you will have much worse gun accuracy your turret turns very very slow and um your view range is less, your concealment is less. There's a whole host of things that you will get um, that are really negatives other than the mobility when you're in that mode. So I suggest only using it at the very beginning of the game. Now the gun, the gun is also very weird. It's a little bit inaccurate, but it fires a three round burst. So that's one click and it fires three shells. Now again, if you hear me in this session, smacking the mouse that's just me like it's my brain telling me that I need to click it three times and it just helps me focus on keeping the gun, you know, on someone so that I click when I think the gun's gonna fire and for some reason this mentally helps me so if you ever hear me like smacking the mouse this is just what I do to help myself focus it's just a thing that I've done and I can't change it but keep that in mind it's one 
click of the mouse and you get a three shot burst three and a half second reload on the intra clip they call it and then you get another three round burst and it does 200 damage a shot so in some four or five seconds you could basically clip someone out for 1200 damage ideally but that rarely happens um, you have 240 millimeters of penetration on the um, apcrs and 200 on the ap's the he's are pretty standard they have a 53 average penetration it looks like but i like to keep a clip of this just in case we face something with absolutely zero armor right um i run this thing right now with just one setup because i don't have the modified configuration i can increase this level a bit um, but you can see i'm going to burn a lot of free experience so i don't really want to do that um but I probably will be using some of that free experience for this. But right now, keep in mind, we're running no modified configuration. So on my only equipment layout, I have CVS, I have the um, bounty optics, and I run low noise exhaust with the optic calibration and rations. And then the crew has brother in arms, and then I have concealment, situational awareness, um, snapshot, and smooth ride. So that's about it to talk about this tank, guys. But it's just a very, very, very unique tank that requires a very unique play style. Um... And I think that's about it. So let's go ahead and get into the battles. We'll probably play three. It depends on how they go. Um, and yeah, you might find me getting into a lot of trouble with this tank. I average about, I don't know, 1700 damage in this vehicle. Um, it's really a damage dealer. But again, I always set my light tanks up to spot. So keep that in mind. We have, you know, the CVS and all that. So let's see what we're going to get into. Um, and... I want to show you guys what this tank is really doing because like I have the mastery video right but in reality the tank really doesn't work that like that um, I would say it's very finicky in an actual battle so you will see that look 38.56 second reload man that's very excessive right so all right so on this map guys on highway I would highly highly suggest that you never go to the field this is just the way i do it now i don't go to the field anymore um the reason for that is basically because it's very unbalanced and i just don't feel like going over there and dying so i just don't i never take that side of the map but you can right you can sit in bushes here and stuff but it's just very hard to get out of there and i feel like it leads to very inconsistent games um on highway so what i do instead is i come up like I'll do something like this, right? Um, maybe sit like right in here or so. And just make sure that no one is kind of coming this direction. Hopefully I don't get spotted from that. Yeah, this should work for now. And then we turn off the siege engine mode, okay? And we just kind of go passive here and hopefully we'll light some people in this area. Um, we can also light people that are gonna come down this way and to go underneath the bridge so i'm just going to do this now a lot of people in the chat will probably be like what what are you doing you know help spot the field but i do not do that on this map anymore i just find that it's way too risky and if the field ends up getting lost then i will run this way and snipe instead um and help spot but for now we're going to sit here we're going to see how this works normally i like to sit in this bush but i'm going to try something a little different and just see if this works at all um so far it's not really getting me anything but I don't see anybody in the city yet either, so it's possible that a lot of them went field or something like that. Is there a lot of TVs here or something? It's kind of weird, man, that I haven't spotted a thing yet. Like, you would think that I would spot something here, but it doesn't appear to be the case, guys. Um, one alternate thing you can do is if you don't want to do this, go to the field also, you can try and run up this way and spot people. Um, I just find it very risky, so that's why I don't do that. Um, but yeah, it's an option. So depending on how this goes, we might be able to come to the field, but I'd never do it initially, right? I just don't feel like it's worth it. So they're pushing here. What was it, just the WZs? Was that it for their lights? Or are they not even light tanks, dude? What am I looking at here? T-49. Where would this guy be? He's over there. All right, so check this out. This is what we're going to do, guys. I'm actually going to go on siege mode here, or engine, whatever the heck it's called, turbo mode. And we're going to start spotting this area. And the reason for this is because of what I'm seeing on the map. Most people have been lit. 
really only the SU-101 and the 121 and the Tortoise are unlit. So now we're going to make a play to come this way. Hopefully I don't get hit here. Let's see what happens. We're going to turn off this mode. And now we can try and make pokes here, perhaps. Let's see. Yep. We're lit here. I would like to think it's... I don't, it's not the astronaut or anybody spotting me, but there's someone probably sitting in this area doing the spotting. The astronaut's too low. Um, one to one could be sitting like in this area, maybe. It's possible. There's the astronaut. Yeah, man, this gun is just, it's its pretty wild, guys, to, to accurately hit shots. Um, yeah, it just doesn't work too well. I want to see if someone is sitting, like, right here. There's the 121. Yeah, he's going to go for me. No surprise there. Nobody is shooting this guy. This is a tough game, man. I, I won't lie, this is a tough game. And these guys are going to end up getting crossfire, so... This is going to become pretty interesting. Let's see. Alright, now they got a shot at the one two one. Getting spotting damage from that. Okay. lucky. Wish someone would hit this guy. Let's see. I think we got a little lucky there, guys. I got tracked, but I forgot my repair kit was already used. But, um, it is what it is. You know, can't change anything about that. So, I think we'll put pressure on this base. Viper looks like he's going to come back. T-54 is putting the pressure, and I think we go for the base at this point. A lot of times, what I like to do is try and defend the base, but I feel like in this situation, this is one of those things where there's only the Char here, and pretty much the rest of the team is over here. We'll see, we'll spot the GW Tiger, but everyone is lit. See how these are all yellow? So I know that it's just the Char here, and the Artie. And the Char should be basically a one clip for me, but I might have the T-54 take that shot. Okay, there he is. That was, again, pretty lucky, but I'll take it. There's Artie. Close game, man. Okay. Alright. At this point... I think, what is the HP differential? I never cap, guys. I, I'm always going to go for more damage. So I think we turn off turbo mode here. And we go after these guys. They're all in this area. So what we can do is flank. If, if say, like the tortoise wasn't lit or one of these guys wasn't lit, I probably wouldn't make this play. I would just cap out and be safe. But I think in this situation, we should be okay here. Because we can get behind these guys. Come 
back. I'm reloading 2,000 damage, 436 assists. That's not bad so far. Hoping this was the right play, guys, because we could we could throw this game, right? But you know, it's not to pad stats. The T54 could have also stayed the cap, but it's just the play you make, right? Like you always want to get more damage. It's just the way the game is, right? Like I, don't, I never want to be toxic, but. crazy how I can't even pen that cap. Like, I thought that was aimed pretty well. So we only have six standards left. Um, I'm going to keep myself safe from the Minotauro just in case. I think this is breakable, but we're going to sit behind it just for the time being. It's not breakable, actually. But just so I'm safe to reload, and with him dead, now we'll go in. and we used all our shells so this is why i load six he and only six ap and the rest just all apcrs man um because it's just the reload is so long you want to really make sure that you're getting good damage out of the game so i think that was a great start um i, I have no complaints about that um i think the game went pretty well i think we made the right decisions we did 3k damage 436 assist i don't know who this person is um yeah, and that was a great game. I mean, we're top by experience, and we're, let's see, second by damage, actually, which is pretty pretty crazy, but that's what this thing is capable of doing, man. We made 113k, and in a perfect situation, a perfect scenario, this is what you're going to get, guys. So if the t next two games are garbage, um, keep in mind that that's what the tank is capable of doing, but it's very dependent on the situation, the map, the teams. So... It's just, it's just something to keep in mind. I always tell you guys this. I like you to see the reality of the game and not just three mastery games that I got over 100 battles or something, right? So on a map like this, I think what we'll do is probably take the this square over here, like C9, in this little corner. Because the reason is, is because this thing has the turbo mode and you can get there very quick. And I think we can get some side shots, um, but we'll see about that. The other option for a light tank is usually to take this area, or you can rush the hill, but I never advise that. Um, you can sit in this little area here um, and help out there. So this guy's saying hill, and I'm saying absolutely not. Now you could rush the hill. This isn't this is an option. Um, it, it is like it's an option to rush the hill. I just think it's so risky that you're never going to have a consistent game doing that. Yeah, you could do it ten times, and maybe seven or eight times it works, and you win the hill and you have a great game. The other two times you're going to die right at the beginning of the game, and to me, it's just not worth it. Um, and in reality, I think that number is more like fifty percent. So. don't have the shots. I'm not going to go for like a clip unless I can. I know I can hit a lot of the shots. Okay, we're at 811 damage ready, guys. We only hit like four of the shots, so that's not bad. Um, I don't want to run into a situation where I run out of ammo, especially on mines. And you have to be careful of the blind fire here, guys. That's something else to note. And watch for people on the hill. So, like, see where the char is? 
Like, if someone comes to this area, they'll light you. So you have to be really careful about that. You sit here. And we have the support here. If we didn't, I would run from here. It's unfortunate we really don't have the shots on this guy. Like, we can try and take these, but they're... Okay. I'm just gonna go on the reload here, since... I think it's worth it, because we just got spotted, so we have to wait a while anyway. Um, we could go back at this point and try and defend the base. It's an option. In fact, I think we're going to try and do that now. While I'm on the reload, the only problem is the hill. So can... yeah, I just don't... Hmm. Because when the hill is lost, it's very, very difficult to run back and defend the base. And we're going to have a problem with this T-95 as well. gonna have to sit right here. I think we're sort of safe here. Yeah. This is a GG, man. Like, I can't get out of this situation. There's just no one here for the support, honestly. So... It is what it is, guys. We did 2260 damage, 425 assist, and I think the biggest issue with this game was that we just had, like, I know these people are TDs, but look, the whole, <laughs> all our damage dealers are sitting back in this area. Um, so, yeah, that's just unfortunate. Um, there's, and, and Mines, man, Mines is never a good map for, uh, for lights, but... I think we'll probably just watch the end of this one, because we're only going to play one more. Normally I would get into a different game. But, uh, but I think we'll watch this one. You guys can obviously skip it. This is going to be on YouTube, so you can skip ahead um, to the next battle. But I think I'm going to stick around and just watch the end of this one. It shouldn't be much longer. This guy's going to die, and now they'll push the base area. But yeah, um, in the meantime, what I like to do is try and give you guys a strategic overview of what happened. So they won the hill, and they put a lot of pressure in this area. We were sitting here. The T-95 was able to make pressure without anybody hitting him at all. So when that happens, then they can take this whole thing. And once they have this and the hill, um, and we also lost the one line, it's a GG, man, right? Because all we have now is just people trying to defend. And that's it. They have the whole map. They have the hill so they can outspot us. They have this area so they can outspot people like on the four line, like K4 and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, it ends pretty quickly from there because then they, they're, they're able to get all this crossfire, man. But I think the biggest issue here was that... Uh, we just had a lot of people sitting back in this area, man, that weren't really doing anything until the game pretty much comes to a close, right? So, so this guy should die in a moment. And yeah, I mean, 2260 damage still isn't that bad. I'm, I'm happy with that. And 425 assist on mines, like, I will also take that. But I think overall, it's just... Uh, yeah, it just wasn't great, man. Um, and it's unfortunate, guys, but again, this is the reality of this game, and this is why I like to show you real games, because it's, it, again, mines, like, it's so dependent on the freaking matchmaking, man. Um, it's really, and we've been in two tier 10 games. I've also been in, like, eight, nine games with this thing, and it's even nastier, so. But yeah, that's, uh, it's a realistic game. I'm happy to do 2260 damage, though, guys. I, ca I can't emphasize that enough. Like, Mines is just one of those garbage maps, and we're about to one-mark this thing. On the stream, what we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to be playing the LTTB and also the Char Emily, and we're going to be trying to mark them. I'll probably also be doing the T-71 Da, um, 
So if you're watching this part of the video, again, go to the Twitch channel, subscribe, make your Twitch account. I promise you guys it'll be worth it, um, and I will make it as entertaining as I possibly can. So here's the game. We did um, 2231 WNA. Um, that's all great. Um, and yeah, it, if you know how to play this vehicle, you're going to have a good score in it, guys. That's really what it comes down to. Clips, tanks with clips are so... They just have a play style that doesn't fit a lot of people. You got to be really patient. I'm not even a patient person, but yeah, it's uh, it's tough, man. So we were, let's see, uh, kind of middle by the damage, um, and one, two, three, four, what a fifth here by experience, and that's all we can do with that game. So let's get into the third, and we'll see if we can get something good. I don't know, maybe Prokhorovka, Malinovka. Um, these are always the maps I use, man. But I'll take Westfield, you know. I'll take something else. This is okay. We can make this work. So, the hill is an option on this map. It depends. So, we're on this side. I don't like this side. I'm really bad at this side. The better side is south, in my opinion, because you have two options. You can sit in the G3 square here. G2, G3. And you can fire like this, and it's also a little bit easier to take the hill, I think, in my opinion. I could be wrong about that, but that's just how I feel. I don't know, guys. It's just a feeling. Like, the way it is over here, I don't know. You know, it just feels easier. But what we're going to do is come to the, kind of like the mid area. And I think from there, shoot their lights before they get on the hill. Yeah. Um, reloading. 30, <laughs> 30 seconds. Good luck with that, bro. I don't think we're going to be able to... Uh, to get any shots off on the lights. But what I like to do is come up to this area. I will show you, hopefully, the G-Sor is not going to go to the same area. He's going to go to the left. Perfect. And I like to come here. The problem is this reload is so effing long that we might not even be able to get the shots that I'm looking for in this spot. So you have two options. You can come up to the bush like this from here. That's an option. Or you can... Um, hang on. Okay. Or you can poke like this. This is what I like to do. I prefer to poke like this. And you can spot really slow tanks that are coming up this way. Hopefully I'm not lit from this. Should be foliage there. And you can do like this. And you can wait for these people to come around, spank them in the side, which will work really well with this vehicle. And you just have to be careful of enemy TDs and stuff like that. But you're safe from this hill back. If you do it from here, you're safe from the hill back there. So you have the mouse. I think I'll just take the shots at this guy. When you sit in this area, you're safe from this hill. This is the one I'm talking about. So I like to be here. Um, Looks like we have two lights here, and then what I like to do is come right here. The problem is you just have to be really careful of this hill over here, because some people will sit, like, in this area where I just clicked. So you have to be cautious of that. I hope people don't think there's an actual TD there. But So they have an even 90 that's unlit, T28 prototype, and M40 Scorpion G. So it's possible the Scorpion G could be there. Other than that, I would think the Leo PTA is probably sitting back on this hill maybe or something like that okay so we have a problem here you got to keep an eye on this what i'm going to do is come back because see all these people making pressure here here's the leo pta so we have to come back this way otherwise you get hit in the butt right so we're a little late there but that's all right and we'll poke out like this and we'll see if we can hit anybody in this area we really didn't take any good parts of the map in my opinion um it looks like we have the nine line one so that's a good area to fall back to but for now, we got to focus on the people that are going to be in this area. Because we don't want to get flanked, right? And heavies can also come this way. This is a thing. Because, like, the 257 can come all the way out like this without being hit by the TDs back here. So that's another thing to note. Leo PTA is now here. But I'm concerned about the E50. If you have this one, what you can do is sit in this area where the Viper is. Of course, it's just not safe right now, and you can try and take shots at people that are up here. It's just risky, man, because I don't know where this E50 is. Um, and we lost the one line. So we have the nine line, we lost the one line, and the game looks like it's progressing pretty well. But I'm just trying to stay safe here. Where did this E50 go, man? That's what I'm concerned about. Okay, he's there, so I think at this point we can try and make a play here to come back to where we originally were. And we might be able to get the jump on this 257. What do you guys think about that? Let's see. Okay. 
We're able to clean him up with all lower plate shots, guys. That's where you aim on those things. Just go for the lower plate if you're close. Um, and yeah, so I think we're actually going to turn on turbo mode. And what I want to do here is come this direction and start putting pressure on this area of the map. And we're going to come up to right here. Um, I'll just do this. And Scorpion G is here, they annihilate him, and the um, TVP has the right idea. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to come up this area, and you can spot the remainder of people. Of course, he beat me to it. We're going to come out of this mode, and this is pretty much going to be the game. Um, T28's here. Artie's here. Okay, and that's the game, guys. So we did 1,500 damage, 49 assists. Because that was such a fast game, what are we at here? 30 minutes. Um, yeah... <sighs> I think we'll call it here. I'm trying to keep my sessions a little shorter because they get pretty long, right, guys? Um, but hopefully you can see where this tank is doing well and where it is not. Um, and again, if you want to see me play more of this vehicle, Twitch channel, guys. Go there, subscribe, or rather follow. Um, and, uh, you know, it will help me out a lot. So good, we got the tier 9 here um, discount. And we did 1,500 damage, two kills, guys. We're in the middle here, it looks like, pretty much by both things. And we're sort of top by damage. And, you know, middle by experience. And um, that's it, guys. So over the three battles, I don't think we did that bad. We averaged 2,245 damage with about a 5,000 WTR. Uh, in, at Tier 9, I think that's pretty good for me. I would always like to be a little above 5,000. That's just me. Um, but we averaged about 2,600 combined. I don't think that's awful, um, rounding up. And yeah, 5,000 WTR. We won two of the three games and um, 2,200 damage. Like this is, to me, this is the way this tank is supposed to be played. It should really be more of a damage dealer. It's a light tank, but it's one of those light tanks that is good at dealing burst damage. So you got to play to its strengths. Um, yeah, you have to play to its strengths, guys. Um, I, I don't just don't know what else to uh, to really say about it other than that. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. I'm going to show you guys this one more time. Um, the Twitch channel. Come to my page, and you will have the link in two places, guys. We're going to go to my channel. You will have the link right here. Okay, and if you go to my this video in particular, but to, when you guys see this video, there'll be more videos here. Click on the, the video, watch the video, like the video, comment on the video. Um, yeah, I like I said, I, I live off of your guys' comments, man. So when I see all your guys' comments, I get really, really excited because I'm doing this for free, man. You know, I, I love to talk to you guys. I like to hear your guys' input, um, what you like, what you don't like about the videos. Feel free to share. It's it's fine. I'm, I'm not great at taking criticism, but I will do it. You know, if you guys want to see some slightly different content or whatever, um, that's fine. You have any recommendations, feel free. But again, you hit show more here, guys. Twitch channel is going to be right here. Streaming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm going to go to this page and just show you guys real quick some more information on this page. If you go to the About section, guys, you will see everything about me. If you care to know a little bit more about me, go for it. I have the Streamlabs stream schedule set up here, so we're going to be doing, again, Friday, 11.30 p.m., Saturday, 6 p.m., Sunday, 11 a.m., approximately. Um, you can see my computer here. This is my sister's travel page. And then another link back to my YouTube channel, little donate section. This is just a hobby of mine. Um, if you're feeling generous, tip me here. Totally up to you guys. You can tip me a dollar if you want. Hey, man, you know, I'm doing this for free. You guys don't have to tip me, but it would be great. Um, and that's it, guys. So hopefully um, I went over this in detail enough and you guys can get on board here so you can watch me live. That's it, guys. I'll catch you for the next one. Thank you so much for um, watching, for subscribing, for commenting, for liking. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Bye-bye. I'm out. Peace.